Let's do this. Thank you guys for supporting the Lemon for Leukemia Challenge. It's a super important cause. I would like to challenge Becky and Chris. Hello there. I brought you a surprise. Did you? Yeah. Is it a cookie? How'd you know? <gasps> You're the best. Best husband award ever goes to. Well, we got nominated for the Lemons for Leukemia Challenge. Think that we should sign up to be donors? I'm actually already a donor. Oh, well, I will sign up to be a donor. Being that you are a doctor, tell me about bone marrow transplants. Well, I'm not really a hematologist. I'm gonna dig back to my med school training from back, how long ago was that now? It's probably like digging back 10 years now. So leukemia is a type of cancer. It's cancer of the blood. Cancer starts off in an organ or a cell type. Liver cancer, it would start in the liver. Kidney cancer, it would start in the kidneys. Your blood actually has cells that circulate around. Those cells are produced in the bone marrow. Red blood cells, white blood cells, etc. If those cells become cancerous and are growing out of control, then that's how you get these blood-borne cancers like leukemia. One of the treatments for leukemia is something called a bone marrow transplant. Your existing bone marrow, which is producing your, all of your blood cells, including the cancerous one, is wiped clean via chemotherapy or radiation. You're essentially now a blank slate. There's no way you can live without a working marrow system though. What they do is after they wipe your own problematic marrow system, they will infuse you with somebody else's, which will then impregnate into your bones and become your own. The problem becomes that you can't just take anybody's marrow and put it in somebody else. Everybody's cells are different, and that's where things called HLA antigens come into play. The way I think about that is you've got multiple HLA markers on the outside of your white blood cells. Each of them will look different essentially to the body. So you have to have as close to a perfect match as possible in order to have your bone marrow cells be compatible with somebody else. If I took mine out of my body and threw them into Becky, they likely would not be a match and her body would reject that. Statistically, there's a very, 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 very small chance of actually being a match. So that's where the Be The Match registry is trying to improve things. So they're trying to uh, get as many people to sign up for this registry as possible so that they can maximize the chance that their patients will be able to have a match with somebody. Ethnic groups have a harder time finding a match. I think most of the registry is made up of Caucasian individuals. Therefore, if you're Caucasian, you have a higher chance of finding a match. Even if you are Caucasian, you should still sign up because you can only help somebody. The chances of being a match, I think on the website reported like what was one of 430. In order to donate your bone marrow or stem cells, there's two main ways that that's done. And the first way is through blood collection or through some IVs. They'll give you some injections of a medication that will ramp up production of those stem cells that they're looking for. About a week of that medication, you'll then get blood drawn and the stem cells will be collected from your blood. So that's pretty easy. It's not anything more than taking some medication and giving some blood. Majority of donations usually are done that way. 25% of the time, they will request that your actual bone marrow get sampled. It's a minimally invasive surgical procedure. Uh, it's very similar to a procedure that I do called a bone marrow biopsy. The, now, this is the way I do it. This may not be how they do it, but I use a CT scanner to visualize the iliac bones in the pelvis. And then I will guide some fairly large needles into the bone, through the cortical bone, and then suck out some marrow and then take a core sample of the bone. It sounds very gruesome, but I medicate my patients with plenty of sedation to minimize the discomfort. And most patients tolerate it just fine. I would imagine that the collection of stem cells from the marrow would be very similar to that. But again, I don't do specific collections for uh, these purposes. Some places I've read that they will do it under general anesthetic. Nonetheless, uh, it's a bit more of a a commitment than just getting peripheral blood. Take home message, if you're gonna become part of the registry, you should be familiar with what that commitment entails if you do get chosen to be a donor. And if that's something that you're not comfortable with, which is perfectly fine, this is totally your choice, then um, you know a monetary donation is always uh, looked kindly upon. With how popular the Lemons for Leukemia hashtag is becoming now, it's important to talk about what the goals of the registry are and ultimately why you're doing this. Be part of the registry. If you don't want to, donate money, but in the end, that's my take on it as a physician. Becky's ordered a kit, so we both can now be part of the registry. 
and do our part. Maybe one day you'll sa help save a life. Maybe, Maybe one day I will. Wouldn't that be nice? Check back in when those, when the kit comes. There you go. Okay, see you then. Bye. Okay, so we got tagged in the Lemons for Leukemia video. It's a little bit late because, well, after we got tagged, we signed up to actually be a match. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave the links in the description box below. You should go um, not only donate, but uh, sign up to actually be a match. It's such a rare opportunity to become matched with somebody who has leukemia. So you can really save somebody's life by being a part of the registry. Chris is already a part of the registry. I'm gonna make him do the lemon anyway. Simple mouth swab. Oh, hello, Nicholas. I should probably swab this before I eat it. I'll be like, what is that, lemons? Lemons. Hashtag be the match. You know, I'm really nervous and scared, especially knowing what you told me about like how they take the bone marrow. That's not the blood test, but it could save somebody's life. So I think it's important. Now you're ready to collect your samples. It sounds kind of gross. It's not stool samples, honey. Yeah. Got it, okay. It's like you're brushing your teeth. Get them cells. Oh yeah, all cells. Putting the barcode on. Like a flag. Like a flag. Guys, this is easy. So I think the important thing to stress is that if you're going to become part of the registry, you have to be willing to make a donation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, there's so many cells. That's probably good. Swab two, flagging it. That was super easy. Seal this up. Shall we do these lemons? I'm gonna wash them because they're probably... You are not excited about this. One lemon. I've always wanted to bite into a lemon. Really? Yeah, but You're do you weird. think my crown's gonna fall off? You're gonna soften this guy up. Anything else you wanna say before we do this? Yeah, that kinda smells nice. Do you just bite it? I'm just gonna go for it. Are you ready? Okay, I'm just gonna procrastinate. Yeah, okay, look, ready? Three, no, no, no. two, <laughs> no, no, no. one. No, 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 I'm not ready. Stop being a wuss. Come on, we gotta do this. Great, okay. We're losing light. Three, okay. two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's really sour. <laughs> It wouldn't be so bad with a bit of sugar on it. Oh. Oh my god, I can let. We're gonna nominate. Who are we nominating? Justin Rivas. Lizzie Pierce. Majestic hair, Chris out. Enjoy, have fun. Thank you, Marie, for uh, tagging us. It burns in my mouth, like it burns really bad. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> what would happen if I put sugar on it? Salt bay.